more of the uh, cathedral here. Ah! Oh my goodness! Did you think you were going to get hit by that double decker bus, my little wannabe vlogger? Sirs and madams, it's your favorite narrator, Mitkaka, and I'm back for another travel adventure with our two favorite dinglies, Curry Fart and Arepa Pepa. Today's agenda is seeing the beautiful and iconic St. Hilarious Cathedral, famous for Pope Mole Lester. Wait a minute, who's playing that April Fruits prank on me? This is not funny. Somebody give me the right script. Okay, sorry. Today we are off to see the famous St. Paul's Cathedral. World famous for his dome that dominates the London skyline. You know who else's dome is world famous? Sir Patrick Stewart, who was born in Yorkshire, England. Live long and perspire. So beam me a tube of chapstick, replicate Mr. Boom Bastic, and tell me I'm fantastic and boldly go where no man has gone before. As we are off to another adventure in space. Ah. Hey, what is she doing? She's doing like a, mm, what? She wanna kiss me. No, no, uh, point, point somewhere. Mm. Hey, um, excuse me, do you know where the uh, Spanish restaurant is? Oh, yeah, over there, okay, no problem. Hey, you know where Amito is? Oh, right here. St. <laughs> Paul's Cathedral is one of the most famous and recognizable sites of London. Its dome, surrounded by the spires of Wren's City Churches, has dominated the skyline for over 300 years. At 365 feet high, it was the tallest building in London from 1710 to 1963. The dome is still one of the highest in the world. The present structure, completed in 1710, was designed in the English Baroque style by Sir Christopher Wren. It was constructed of Portland stone and replaced the old St. Paul's Cathedral, which was destroyed in the Great Fire of London. The cathedral's majestic dome, set on a colonnaded drum, rises 365 feet high. The interior is characterized by ironwork and wood carving by master craft workers. <laughs> 